road to Platte Valley Trolley. We're leaving Confluence Park. This is where Denver first started, at the confluence of the Cherry Creek and the South Platte River. So as we go along today, I'm going to tell you a little South Platte River story. So like all stories, let's start out. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in 1858, the first pioneers came out here looking for gold. And they found a little bit right across the creek. It wasn't much, but it was enough to drive them crazy. So they built two little tent cities. One was called Auraria, one St. Charles. Within a month, they merged those two cities together into Denver City. Now who knows who Denver City was named after? Who is Denver? John Denver? The Denver Broncos? The pizza? No, no, no. It was James Denver, the governor of the Kansas Territory. At that time, in 1858, this was Kansas. We didn't get to be Colorado until 1876. Now we're coming into a part of the city that has a funny name. Fishback Landing. Fishback Landing. They call it that because this is the location of the first ferry boat in Denver. You gotta remember, 150 years ago, the river looked much different than today. Two to three times wider, only an inch or so deep, full of islands, mud flats. People either walked across or they rode their horse across. But if they had a wagon, they had a problem. So a fellow named Mr. Warren right here built himself a little flat bottom boat. He would take it over there across the river, load your wagon on, and pull you across the plant with a rope. So we had a rope-powered ferry boat in Denver. And they called it Fishback because the water was so shallow they could see the backs of the fish swimming in the river. Now here we are at the downtown aquarium. down there on the river. Over here on our right, cattails, choke cherry bushes. These kind of gray, smoky looking bushes are called rabbit bush. So kids look under those rabbit bushes for rabbits. We see all sorts of things down here. Coyotes, foxes, rabbits, raccoons, skunks, skunk. Now wait a minute. We're gonna stop here just a minute. Look at this big cottonwood tree laying on the ground. Now who knows how that cottonwood got on the ground? Was it a chainsaw massacre, or a tornado? What was it? It was a beaver, that's exactly right. It's beaver. The beavers still come up out of the creek once in a while at night and take down some of these big cottonwood trees. Now if you notice the stump of the cottonwood, you see how the beaver chewed around and around and around that tree until it finally fell over. And no one knows how the beaver knows which way that cottonwood is going to fall. But we've never seen one underneath one. <laughs> now we're coming down a little farther here and you'll see some cottonwood bushes. These were cottonwood trees that the beaver chewed down, and they've come back now just as bushes. We're coming up to a big park now, an open space. Here, I want you to use your imagination. Right here sat the largest business in Denver, the Zangs Brewery. A large collection of big buildings, a smokestack, piles of lumber, wagons, and horses. Zangs was bigger than Coors, older than Coors 
They did a land office business here in Denver selling beer until Prohibition put them out of business. You notice the brewery was right here by the river because they used a lot of water. And those miners up in the hills digging that gold, they used a lot of beer. <laughs> so that's how that happened. Now you see all these open places as we go along today, all along the river. If you were here 25 years ago, it was a lot different. They were full of abandoned buildings, warehouses, little factories and homes. Junk cars in the river, refrigerators in the weeds. Much different than today. No bike path. The city and county of Denver and the Greenway Foundation has cleaned all this up down here. Now we're coming into Children's Museum. 